See, question number one, you have which represents 360 gram of water. 360 gram of water, you have totally four subdivisions here. Two moles of H2O or 20 moles of water. See, two moles of H2O, you know that one mole of H2O's mass is 18. So, two moles should be just 336. Only 20 moles will weigh 360 gram. So, subdivision 2 is correct. And now, coming to the molecules, number of particles. You know that 20 moles will comprise of how much? 20 into Avogadro on molecules of water. So, I can just check it out. 20 into Avogadro number, 6.023 into 10 power 23, right? So, when you multiply, approximately, what is it you will get? You will get it as 1.044 into 10 power, it will be actually 120 point in the world, no? 10 power 23 one of the way, in get 10 power 25, that is in the decimal point, two places towards the left, you move on the mail at 25 one row. So approximately this answer is also perfectly right, which is fourth subdivision. So, and we have four options here, A, B, C, D, in which option D has got both two and four in it. So answer for this question is option D, okay? Question number two, which of the following statements is not true about an atom? Which is not option true? Option A, ma'am. Option, option A, ma'am. Option, option A is not true. Why? Atoms are not able to exist independently. No, atoms can exist independently if they are completely filled. That is, if they are inert gases. We already discussed about helium, neon, argon. All of them have got a complete configuration. They do not give away electrons, nor do they accept electrons. So, they can exist independently. But rather, hydrogen and such atoms and all, they can exist as H2 molecule. Oxygen can exist as O2 molecule. They will not be able to exist independently. So, in generalized, we cannot give this statement. So, first statement itself is not true. So, obviously, answer is option A. Third one, the chemical symbol for nitrogen gas. Um, nitrogen yeah, in its yes, yeah, in gaseous state, yeah. it will be available as its molecule only. As a gas, yeah. when we are discussing, we have to discuss it as its molecule. Because in gaseous state, it cannot be individually available as nitrogen N. So obviously, in a gaseous state, its symbol has got to be N2. So answer is subdivision B for question number three. Question number four. The chemical symbol for sodium, it will be small D, man, a. Small a. N a, small a. It is N A in which A should be small. It should not be capital A. This is wrong. This is correct. Okay. Fifth one, which of the following should weigh the highest weight of 0.2 mole of this, this, all this you have to calculate and check which will be weighing the highest. Okay. So how is it we can check this part? See, here we have calculated the value for A, B, C, and D. For A individually, what is its molar mass we have calculated for 1 mole? And we have multiplied that with 0.2 to get the molar mass of 0.2 moles. The question given in subdivision A, it is 0.2 moles of that. So, for 0.2 moles, you multiply by 0.2, you get the value of mass as 68.4 gram. For carbon dioxide, you already know it is 44 gram. So, they have given in the question, subdivision B, 2 moles of carbon dioxide. So, that mass is 88 gram. Then the third part, CaCO3, 2 moles, they have asked, you know, 1 mole, it is 100 grams. So, for 2 moles, it is 200 grams. And here, 1 mole of H2O is 18 gram. So, what is the mass of 10 moles of H2O? It has got to be 180 gram. So, as a comparative note, you can very easily say that it is CaCO3, 2 moles, which is what? Which is? weighing highest correct huh? so which is the answer answer is for the fifth one it is option c okay so which is the answer ma'am option c will be the answer because this has got the highest weight individually when you calculate only then will you be able to analyze which is the answer okay right let us proceed for the next one which of the following has maximum number of atoms? Number of atoms is nothing but the number of particles. Avogadro number to relate on a particles you are taking. Okay. Everything is having 18 grams of that. Okay. But which will have maximum number of particles that we have to check. So 18 gram of the say all these substances I'm taking, but in one gram, how much will be present? That way you can calculate or you can calculate 
the actual molecular mass of H2O, CO2, O2, and CH4, and then compare besides them. Okay. See here in question number six, first subdivision A, they have given you 18 gram of H2O. 18 gram of H2O, you have to find the number of atoms. See, in one molecule of H2O, you can find three atoms, correct? Huh? Two hydrogen atoms are there and one oxygen atom is there. So, totally three atoms are present in one molecule of H2O. So, how many molecules of H2O are present in 18 grams? So, how is that you can find this? Usually, we find the number of particles by multiplying with Avogadro number. Which one? The number of moles. So, number of particles, number of molecules of H2O can be identified by, what is it? Number of moles, you have to multiply the number of moles with Avogadro number. And what is the number of moles formula? Given mass by molar mass. What is given mass? 18. What is its molar mass for H2O? You know it is 18. Into Avogadro That's number. Eight. Correct. This will give you number of molecules of H2O. How is it you can identify number of atoms present in H2O? This entire thing. Number of total number of atoms present in 18 gram of H2O. How is that you can find this? You know that one molecule of H2O has got three atoms. So, this many molecules of H2O will have how many atoms? You have to multiply this by three. So, it will be 18 into three divided by the molar mass 18 into Avogadro number. Okay. So, this is for subdivision A. Right. I can cancel out 18 and I'll get three times the Avogadro number. Let me not go into the details of it. Avogadro number, let me just keep it as Na only. Okay. Subdivision B, what is given? It is 18 gram of O2. 18 gram of O2 in one molecule of oxygen, O2. How many atoms are there? Two atoms are there. So, 18 gram of O2. How is that you can calculate? Same thing. Given mass by molar mass of O2 molecule. What is it? 16 2 times 32 into how many atoms are there in one oxygen molecule? It is two atoms. Into Avogadro number, you keep it. So what is it? 18 divided by 32 into two. You have to calculate what it is. Fine? Same way, subdivision C. The same thing, 18 gram of CO2 if you are taking. So CO2, what is the molecular, sorry, molar mass mark? What is the molar mass of carbon dioxide? Just now we discussed, previous problem. I'm 32, no, ma'am. Uh, 32 is for just O2. Carbon dioxide, na, 32 plus 12. How much is it? Uh, 44, 44. ma'am. Sorry. Hmm. So, 18 divided by 44 multiplied by how many atoms are there in CO2? One carbon and two oxygen. Correct? Uh, so, totally three atoms are there. So, into three you will do. Into Avogadro number. And for subdivision D, what is that you will get? What is it? CH4. CH4 has got totally five atoms in it. Correct? Huh? One carbon and four hydrogens. So, one molecule has got five atoms. So, 18 gram of CH4 if you take. 18 into five atoms divided by what is the molar mass of CH4? Carbon it is 12 plus hydrogen it is 4. Four hydrogens are there. So, 4 it will be 16. So, divided by 16 into Avogadro number. So, now Na is all the same in everything and 18 is also the same in everything. Actually, when you put it out as a ratio, you can cancel out things. But here we have to find out the maximum number of atoms. So, which will have the maximum number of atoms? Which will have the maximum number of atoms here then? Answer is subdivision D. When you cancel out and find out, you can very easily understand that it is subdivision D. You keep it on hold as such. This you can take it as uh, 18 Na, you can take it common outside. So, what will you get? For simplification, I am telling you. Rather than cancelling out, I can take 18 Na common outside. And what else will be there inside? It will be 3 by 18. Same way here also, 18 Na I can take common outside. And what will I be getting it? 2 by 
32. Hmm. I can cancel, right? 3 1 times and this is 6 times. So it is 1 by 6. And this will be 1 by 16. So 1 by 6 per 1 by 16 per 1 by 6 per Denominator kami arudana. If in case the denominator is lesser, then your value will be greater. This also I can take it as 18 NA. 3 by 44, ma'am. What is it? 3 by 44. So approximately three tables when you are multiplying, how what is that you will get? The ratio. This is one times now. This will be approximate value. What is that you will get? One times 14, then three, four times, correct? Four, huh? 14, ma'am. 14 point something you will get. Just keep it as such. Then 18 NA. Then what will be this one? This will be 5 by 16. So 5 by and 16 will be approximately 1 by 3. So which is the least of all of these? Um, D, this is 1, 1 by, by 3. 16. Ah, 1 by 3 is the least. Denominator, either romba kammi arko, the value will be greater. Numerator value, total, when you divide it, you will get a greater value. So obviously, 1 by 3, what will be the value? The least denominator is 3 here. So 1 by 3 will be the greatest value of all. Correct? Huh? So I can take up answer for this one to be what? Subdivision D. Which one? Question number 6. The answer is subdivision D. Okay. If you got this right, you get 1 marks for this. Next question. 7th one. Which of the following contains maximum number of molecules? They are asking you for the number of molecules. So 1 gram of CO2 or 1 gram of N2. The same way we have to do the calculation here as well. See, for carbon dioxide, you know what is its mass? It is... Uh, 44 gram, correct? Huh? And for N2, it will be 2 times 14, which is 28 gram. And for H2, it is going to be, it's just only H2. So it is 2 grams. And CH4, for this one, it will be 12 plus 4, which is 16 gram, which is the least of them all. Um, H2, ma'am, 2 grams. Ah. Up a number of particles, H2 will only have number of particles to be greater because you are taking 1 gram of everything. See, number of particles in 44 gram will be Avogadro number. 28 gram also will be Avogadro number. That is, this will have Na number of particles. This will have Na number of particles. This will also have Na number of particles. Correct? Huh? So, what will be the number of particles present in 1 gram? 1 gram, how many particles will be there? Na divided by 44. Correct? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Same thing here also. In 1 gram, how many particles will be there? 6.0 to 23 by 28. So, everywhere you have to divide by the molar mass. So, Na divided by molar mass is 2 over here. Which is the least of all in the denominator will give you the greater value. Correct? Huh? Just now we discussed the same thing. So, which is the least of all? least of the denominators that we have in this situation. It will be 2 gram. Correct? So, molar mass of H2 is very small and that is the reason why the number of particles in just 1 gram will be greater. So, the answer is option C. Okay. Question number 8. Mass of 1 atom of oxygen. Mass of 1 atom of oxygen. Minus 23 grams. Idea is simple. Mass of one atom of oxygen, they have asked you. You know that mass of uh, Avogadro number of atoms is nothing but equal to one uh, atom of oxygen, Pati, they have asked you. So, totally the molar mass you take, 16 gram will be the mass of Avogadro number of uh, oxygen atoms. Okay. So, what will be the mass of one atom that should be equal to 16 divided by Avogadro number? Okay. So, 16 divided by Avogadro number. 16 divided by 1.6 into 10 power 20. What is it? 3, ma'am. 1.6022022 0, 2, 2 and all. I'm just omitting so that I can have my answer to be cleared up here. That's it. So, it'll be this. What is it? Here it will be a point 0.1 in the denominator. When you add up to it, it will become 10 power minus 20, uh, 22 you will get. Correct? Huh? So one atom, the mass of one atom that they have asked in the question it is 10 power minus 22 in grams you will write for this oxygen atom. See, they have not mentioned oxygen gas here. 
if they mention it as oxygen gas only then you have to imagine it as o2 if they have just given it as oxygen then you have to consider it as atom so an atom of oxygen okay when you are taking avogadro number of atoms you will be getting the molar mass as what 16 in grams it is not oxygen gas only when you write it as oxygen gas you get it as 32 clear right question number 9 3.42 g of sucrose are dissolved in 18 g of water in a beaker the number of oxygen atoms in this entire solution how much is it is your question see for the ninth one here the question is 3.42 g of sucrose right it is dissolved in 18 g of water so two things are taken together so number of moles of sucrose that you take is nothing but the mass of substance divided by molar mass for sucrose they have given 3.42 divided by molar mass of sucrose is 342 fine and that when you are substituting you will get the number of moles as 0.01 moles okay now they are dissolving it in 18 grams of water so number of moles of water also you can calculate how many moles one mole of water you are taking clear so now you have to find the number of oxygen atoms totally so first of all in 0.01 mole of sucrose how many atoms of oxygen are there we are going to calculate how is that you can calculate one mole of sucrose sucrose is c12h22o11 okay glucose is c6h12o6 this is c12h22o11 for sucrose so this one contains how many atoms of oxygen one mole comprises of 11 atoms of 11 into avogadro number atoms of oxygen fine this is for one mole in that case for 0.1 mole how many how much it will be it will be 0.1 sorry 0.01 into 11 into avogadro number this will be the total number of atoms of oxygen so you'll get it as what 0.11 times na yes ma'am clear same thing you have to proceed for oxygen present in 1 mole of h2o fine so 1 mole of h2o it comprises of how many oxygen atoms one molecule comprises of one oxygen atom so one mole will comprise of avogadro number of oxygen atoms so this one will have na so you have to add up these two things in order to get the total number of particles so what will you do just add them up and multiply it with avogadro number so what it will be 1.11 correct ah one this is 1 na this is 0.11 na so 1 plus 0.11 you will get it as that so you have to multiply by na to get your answer so what is the answer 6.68 into 10 power 23 which is subdivision a what is the answer for 10th one ma'am ma'am that only a only c c answer is c for 10th one okay when a is, energy is either given to or taken out from the system change in physical state can be brought about clear answer is subdivision c fine ma we'll end up the session right now okay thank you ma'am thank you ma